Hi, this time we're going to look at what a USP is and why it's so important to have some in business. The USP is a unique selling point. It's something that sets you apart from your competitors in the minds of your prospects and customers. It's the thing or things that makes you different, the thing that makes you stand out from your competitors. It can be something different about the product or service you sell, or about the way you deliver your service, or even your after-sales. A really good series of USPs will cover all of those areas, pre-sales, during the sale, and after-sales. If you imagine that you and I are competitors, we sell the same thing in the same way, then the only thing our customers and prospects have to choose between us is the price, and usually the cheapest one is chosen. Let's look at an example of this. A high street has two barbers on opposite sides of the road. Both offer the same service at the same price. The main deciding factor customers have to go on is the length of the waiting time. Then one of them reduces his price from £8 to £7. The other responds by cutting his price to £6. And the first one cuts his price to £5, even though there is no margin there at all. The only way to make money at that price is to reduce the amount of time it takes to do a haircut. So corners are being cut and they are working harder than ever for less money. Realising this, the second barber raises his price to £9, gives everyone who comes in a drink and puts up a sign that says, we can fix £5 haircuts. Instant unique selling points. They have differentiated themselves from the other barber and positioned themselves as the better barber, even though they initially provided the same level of service. Let's take another example. You decide you're going to have a conservatory put up at the back of your house. You find the details of three conservatory firms and invite them in to give you a quote. They come in, ask a few questions, take the measurements, and a few days later, the quotes fall through your letterbox. They all say the same thing. This much work for this much money. All the quotes are pretty much the same amount. None of the salespeople particularly made a good or bad impression on you, so how do you choose? Let's say then you decide to get another quote, and so you call up another conservatory installer. The salesman arrives at the right time, takes off his shoes as soon as he enters the house, compliments you on your living room and asks to sit down so he can ask you some questions about the conservatory. Do you want it as an extension of your house or the garden? Do you plan on using it all year? What do you plan on using it for? How are you thinking about heating it? Extending your radiator system or underfloor he heating? Then he asks you about whether you plan on plastering the external wall or tiling the floor. Will you want electrics running through? Will you want thing, uh, blinds putting up? Then he takes you through a selection of the materials he can use to build your conservatory, the different styles and the pros and cons of each one. Then he explains that conservatory installers do just that. They build the conservatory, and you'll need to get someone else in to do the plumbing, electrics and blinds. He offers to hook you up with a firm that can do that, and arrange for them to start on the day he finishes, so your conservatory will be ready for use as soon as possible. When his quote lands on your doormat, are you going to think differently about him than the first three who just offered you this much work for this much money? Of course you are. He's taken a real interest in you and what you want the extra room for. He's now the expert in your mind. His quote is £250 more than the others, but you get what you pay for after all. And so you give him the job. His guys turn up, are smart and polite, build the conservatory in reasonably quick time and tidy up after themselves. The next day the firm you recommended turn up to do the finishing and three days later you, your conservatory is ready for use. You walk in and, there's, and, and walk into the conservatory for the first time and there in a wine cooler is a bottle of champagne with a note that says enjoy your new room. A month later the salesman calls you up to make sure everything's okay with the conservatory. Was the work done to a higher standard or faster than the other firms would have done it? Probably not. Were better materials used? Unlikely. You chose that firm because they were different. They had positioned themselves as the experts who took an interest and cared that you got the room that you wanted. That's why you chose them. And that's also why price became much less of an issue. And that's why you would recommend them to somebody else. Be different. Have a series of USPs that you can use to make you stand out from your competitors. Stop competing on price. There's a good chance you'll put yourself out of business. Thank you for watching.